Chapter 16 Fulfillment of the Freedom Struggle Although India became independent, the struggle for freedom was not yet over. There were many princely states in India. The princely states had the right to either merge with India or remain independent. Therefore, the Congress dream of an undivided India was still incomplete. The princely states being independent, India was going to be fragmented into many parts. The Portuguese and the French powers had not relinquished their hold over some territories in India. But India resolved all of these issues firmly. We shall learn more about this in this chapter. The Merger of the Princely States There were more than 600 different princely states in India. Due to the influence of the non-cooperation movement, a political awakening began in the princely states. This saw the founding of Praja Mandals in the princely states. Praja Mandals were people's organizations that worked in the interests of the people in the princely states and for securing political rights for them. In 1927, all these Praja Mandals came together to form an All India States People's Conference. This gave an impetus to the movement in the princely states. After India became independent, the then Home Minister of India, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, with his great statesmanship, resolved the issue of the merger of the princely states. He took the rulers of the princely states into confidence and prepared an instrument of accession acceptable to all. The rulers of the princely states were thereby assured that a contract with the government of India would be made according to which only the subjects of foreign relations, transport and communication and defense would be handed over to the government of India. All other subjects would remain with the princely states. Sardar Patel convinced the princes how it was in their interest to merge with India. The princes responded well to this appeal. All the princely states except Junagadh, Hyderabad and Kashmir merged with India. Taking a firm stand, Sardar Patel resolved the issue of the merger of these three princely states. The Merger of Junagadh Junagadh was a princely state in Saurashtra. The people there wanted to merge with India. The Nawab of Junagadh, however, was thinking of getting merged with Pakistan. The people strongly protested against his decision. The Nawab then left for Pakistan. After that, Junagadh merged with India in February 1948. The Struggle for the Liberation of Hyderabad Hyderabad was the largest princely state in India. It consisted of Telugu, Kannada and Marathi speaking regions. This state was under the autocratic rule of the Nizam. The people there had no civil and political rights. In order to secure their rights, the people formed regional organizations such as the Andhra Parishad in the Telangana region, Maharashtra Parishad in the Marathwada region and the Kannada Parishad in the Karnataka region. Swami Ramanand Tirth formed the Hyderabad State Congress in 1938. Narayan Reddy and Siraj Ul Hassan Tirmizi were associated with him. The Nizam banned this organization. A struggle ensued in order to get the Hyderabad State Congress recognized and to secure democratic rights. It was led by Swami Ramanand Tirth. The Hyderabad State Congress passed a resolution in July 1947 for the merger of Hyderabad state with India. The Nizam, however, took an anti-India stand and started machinations to get Hyderabad merged with Pakistan. With a view to rejecting people's demand for merger with India, Qasim Razvi founded an organization called Razakar with the backing of the Nizam. Qasim Razvi and his followers committed atrocities not only against Hindus but also against the Muslims who supported the democratic movement. This inflamed the public opinion everywhere. The government of India tried to negotiate patiently with the Nizam, but he refused to respond. At last, the Indian government started the police action on 13 September 1948. At last, the Nizam surrendered on 17 September 1948. Hyderabad was merged with India. The struggle of the people in the princely state was successful. The contribution of Marathwada in the struggle for the liberation of Hyderabad. Swami Ramanand Tirth, Govind Bhai Shroff, Baba Sahib Paranspe, 
दिगंबरराव बिंदू ए के वाघमारे नारायणराव चव्हाण आनंद भालेराव एस के वैशंपायन पुरुषोत्तम चपळगावकर रामलिंग स्वामी देवी सिन्हा चौहान श्यामराव बोधणकर मुकुंदराव पेडगावकर श्रीनिवासराव बोरीकर राघवेंद्र दिवाण फुलचंद गांधी माणिकचंद पहाडे अँड अदर्स मेड अ व्हॅल्युएबल कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन टू दिस स्ट्रगल द वुमेन हू टोक एन ऍक्टिव्ह पार्ट इन द स्ट्रगल फॉर द लिबरेशन ऑफ हैदराबाद वेअर आशाताई वाघमारे दगडाबाई शेळके करुणाबेन चौधरी पंकुनवार कोटेचा गीताबाई चरथणकर सुशीलाबाई दिवाण कावेरीबाई बोधणकर अँड अदर्स स्टुडंट्स पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द स्ट्रगल थ्रू द वंदे मातरम मुव्हमेंट इन दिस हिस्टॉरिक स्ट्रगल वेद प्रकाश श्यामलाल गोविंद पानसरे बहिरजी शिंदे श्रीधर वर्तक जनार्दन मामा अँड अदर्स एम्ब्रेस मार्टिडम देअर सॅक्रिफाईस हॅज बीन अ सोर्स ऑफ इन्स्पिरेशन टू ऑल इंडियन्स दस वी सी दॅट द लीडर्स अँड द पीपल इन मराठवाडा हॅड अ लायन्स शेअर इन द स्ट्रगल फॉर द लिबरेशन ऑफ हैदराबाद मराठवाडा मुक्ती दिन इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन सेव्हन्टीन सप्टेंबर इन मराठवाडा टू कॉमेमोरेट द स्ट्रगल फॉर द लिबरेशन ऑफ हैदराबाद द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ औरंगाबाद बीड ओस्मानाबाद परभणी अँड नांदेड इन मराठवाडा वेअर पार्ट ऑफ द प्रिन्सली स्टेट ऑफ हैदराबाद द न्यू डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ जालना लातूर अँड हिंगोली वेअर फॉर्म्ड आफ्टर नाईन्टीन एटी टू मराठवाडा वॉज नॉट इन्क्लुडेड इन इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट नाईन्टीन फॉर्टी सेव्हन आफ्टर द इन्स्पायरिंग स्ट्रगल ऑफ द पीपल दिस रिजन वॉज मर्ज विथ इंडिया इन नाईन्टीन फॉर्टी एट दिस युनिक स्ट्रगल विल ऑलवेज इन्स्पायर द पीपल ऑफ द एन्टायर कंट्री द कश्मीर प्रॉब्लेम हरी सिंग द रुलर ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ कश्मीर हॅड डिसाइडेड टू रिमेन इंडिपेंडेंट पाकिस्तान हॅड इंटेंडेड टू सिक्युअर द मर्जर ऑफ कश्मीर विथ पाकिस्तान फॉर दिस पर्पज पाकिस्तान बिगॅन टू पुट प्रेशर ऑन हरी सिंग एट द इन्स्टिगेशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान आर्म्ड इन्क्लुडर्स अटॅक्ट कश्मीर इन ऑक्टोबर नाईन्टीन फॉर्टी सेव्हन हरी सिंग देन साईन द इन्स्ट्रुमेंट ऑफ एक्सेशन विथ इंडिया आफ्टर कश्मीर हॅड दस मर्ज विथ इंडिया द इंडियन आर्मी वॉज सेंट फॉर द डिफेन्स ऑफ कश्मीर द आर्मी वन बॅक अ मेजर पोर्शन ऑफ कश्मीर फ्रॉम द पोझिशन ऑफ द इन्क्लुडर्स बट अ पार्ट ऑफ इट रिमेन्ड अंडर द पोझिशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान द मर्जर ऑफ द फ्रेंच कॉलनीज इवन आफ्टर इंडिया हॅड बिकम इंडिपेंडंट चंद्रनगर पॉंडिचेरी पुदुचेरी कराईकल माहे अँड यनम टेरिटरीज वेअर इन द पोझिशन ऑफ द फ्रेंच द इंडियन नेटिव्ह देअर वेअर ईगर टू गेट मर्ज विथ इंडिया द इंडियन गव्हर्नमेंट डिमांडेड दॅट दीज टेरिटरीज बीइंग पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया शुड बी हँडेड ओव्हर टू इंडिया फ्रान्स हेल्ड अ प्लेबिसिट इन चंद्रनगर इन नाईन्टीन फॉर्टी नाईन द पीपल देअर वोटेड फॉर इंडिया चंद्रनगर वॉज हँडेड ओव्हर टू इंडिया देअर आफ्टर फ्रान्स हँडेड ओव्हर द रेस्ट ऑफ द टेरिटरीज टू द गव्हर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया द स्ट्रगल फॉर द लिबरेशन ऑफ गोवा पोर्चुगल डिक्लाइन टू हँड ओव्हर द टेरिटरीज अंडर इट्स पोझेशन टू इंडिया इंडियन्स हॅड टू स्ट्रगल फॉर सिक्युअरिंग दीज टेरिटरीज डॉक्टर टी बी कुन्हा वॉज इन द फोरफ्रंट ऑफ दिस स्ट्रगल he worked to bring about an awakening of the people against the portuguese government he founded the goa congress committee to struggle against the portuguese later he founded the organization the goa youth league in mumbai in 1945 in 1946 he entered goa and violated the ban on public speech for this he was sentenced to 8 years of imprisonment it was in the year 1946 that dr ram manohar lohia started a satyagraha for the liberation of goa violating the ban he delivered a public speech at madgaon in goa for which the portuguese government deported him at about the same time the azad gomantak dal was raised to liberate the portuguese colonies of dadra and nagar haveli in gujarat on 2nd august 1954 youths of the azad gomantak dal mounted an armed assault and liberated the territories of dadra and nagar haveli from portuguese rule among those who participated in the attack were vishwanath lavande raja bhau wakankar sudhir phadke nana saheb kadrekar and others 
In 1954, the Goa Mukti Samiti was formed. The Samiti sent many batches of satyagrahis from Maharashtra into Goa. N. G. Gore, Sudhir Phadke, Senapati Bapat, Peter Alvarez, Mahadev Shastri Zoshi and his wife Sudha Tai participated in this satyagraha. Mohan Ranade was a leader of great daring in this struggle. The Portuguese rulers subjected the satyagrahis to unlimited tyranny and atrocities. Some of them became martyr to the Portuguese tyranny. This infuriated the public opinion in India. The liberation struggle in Goa intensified further. The Indian government was patiently holding negotiations with the Portuguese government, but they did not respond. At last, the Indian government unwillingly took the decision of using military force. In December 1961, the Indian army entered into Goa. Very soon, the Portuguese army surrendered. On 19 December 1961, Goa was liberated from Portuguese dominion. Imperialism was completely rooted out from Indian soil. India's freedom struggle was truly fulfilled. After independence, facing many difficult problems such as poverty, unemployment, illiteracy and inequality, India marched towards development. In all walks of life, progress received a momentum. India became a great democratic nation in the world. Today, in the 21st century, India is marching towards becoming one of the superpowers in the world.